Hi, welcome to the C++ programming tutorial. What we're going to be looking at is virtual functions. We've looked at method overloading, polymorphism, but virtual functions are similar in the sense that you declare a virtual function and you can override um, this virtual, it's not overloading, it's overriding, but you can change the functionality of this function um, from the, the base class. So the, the drive class can change its functionality. So we were doing overloading where we were passing different parameters to get different the method to behave differently. But a virtual function, we can do this because it's virtual. And one of the main reasons why you can do that is the overloading when you compile your program, all the source code for every single one of those methods is compiled. The virtual one is not compiled. It's actually when you're running the program after being compiled that and you make a choice what you want to do, it's when that will be actually compiled and executed. So it's a, a slight difference. And so it's a virtual thing that's compiled so that it can be changed um, during the program. So we'll get started. The, the first thing you need to know is the keyword. That's the program as it was for the last time. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a virtual function inside the input and remember that we've already made um, a, a derived class this is a base class and the menu is the derived class which inherits this class so you can see that we've already got a virtual function declared the eclipse done that for the, the deconstruction we've not went into the deconstruction yet but if we make it a protected one we could have made it public and if we do void Well, virtual is the first keyword, virtual, void, we're not going to return anything, we'll call it just because we're testing, and we're not going to pass anything into it, so this is empty. So that's us um, put the signature on the header file, and now we're going to go to the source file and define define the, the virtual method and so we're not returning anything so it's void and it's menu and I'm not too sure if it'll be there because we never saved we never saved we're going to save the header file and it may be there and it may not be there and if we go back to the source file we called it to be at the bottom yep it's here so so what we, we can double click this and we want to define it so this braces begin braces and end braces you don't see the end braces there and so all we're going to do is just print something out to screen and So this, yeah, it's hitting the space by the wrong time. Let's see the space bar. Yeah. Right. So this is from the virtual method, not over. So we've not overridden this virtual function. So, so this this is what's going to be printed when it's not overridden. And if we go to if we go to the menu um, class, this 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 one <coughs> this class here inherits input, and we've made made the virtual fu um, function protected. So we're going to access it from menu. And so what we can do is go to the source file. And the last last tutorial, if I bring this if I bring this up, yeah. 
so that you can see it. Yeah, the last tutorial we made the the menu, um, the base name, and we printed out the the method that was protected in the the inherited class. So this time, what we're going to do is we're going to um, use we're going to access the virtual method, and so the virtual method is going to be like menu. And we need to type in um, it's first test, and we're not going to return anything, so we're just going to do this, just a blank space. And so, so now we save this, and we go to main, and then main. What we're doing is we are calling the base name class, which is going to call the virtual class. And so if we change that um, to base name class, and now what we're going to do, you call yourself and it's going to give whatever, right? So, so this is Save this, and, and we should be able to run compile and run. Run the program. There's an error. Yeah, this is meant to be input. Put the wrong, typed in the wrong one. I thought it was on menu class, but we were, we're inside the menu class. So if I save and compile, that should be that here. Just error finished. Okay, that's happy with that. Let's see what happens now. And so, what you can see here is virtual called from derived class. And what kind of name is that? And so, it's not printed out what we thought it would print out so we'll check that out there's two semicolons I don't think that makes a difference okay um, let's see what it is let's see I'll go back to main we're calling this base class which the base class itself um, is a virtual class and the virtual class what you will see is um, we're passing C out we're doing C out here and so so what we're doing is we're, we're sort of like putting a C out within a C out and so we're not returning that so when we go back to when we go back to main this returns a string and so that's what's going to be printed out and so when we make that void um, sorry, if we make this void means I've got to make this void so it's not returning a string anymore and we need to take away the return because we're not returning anything so all we're going to do is print out, but what we're doing, we're passing a C out, this C out here. And um, we can see it on the screen, C out, um, not overrode, and I changed it, the string was too long. So it's just going to say it's the virtual method's not overrode, overridden. And so when we come back here, we're putting that inside a C out. And so that's going to create a problem. So what I'm just going to do is just call the method. Just call the method because the method itself is just going to print out um, from the input. So if I compile, we we'll need to save the changes.
on the program. And you can see it's printed out, um, not overridden, and because the virtual that's the functional the virtual function here, and it hasn't been overridden. So the next part is to override it, um, and it's behaving as when you had methods that was overloaded with the the arguments that's passed to them. Um, we could choose which one we wanted to do. With the virtual, we can actually write code to change the virtual function, or we can just accept the virtual function as it is. And so that's what we're going to do now. So we'll go to the base class, and um, the derived class, the one that inherits uh, the input class. And so what we've done was we just called that method. Um, but what we can do is is we can create um, a virtual we can redefine our own code for that virtual method and in input and so it's void so we can do void menu and braces and now we can the code that we want into it and so this so that's us um, redefined the foot test method and input. So it's not going to say not overridden. It's going to it's going to say um, this virtual method has been overridden by our code. And so if we save the change, and run the program. Oh, we've got an error. Yeah, there. Right, there's an error here. to do here is um, to create this in the header file and so we need to go like void um, test so that's the same method that's in the inherited one so if we save the change and so that should be different so let's compile Yeah, it's a good act. Now let's see if it works. Let's see if it prints this instead of it, um, not overridden. And let's see. Yeah, we've got code. Um, and so what we've done is we created a virtual, a virtual method. We defined it in the source file. Not overridden. We executed that, and then from the main the menu. And so we went to menu, we declared the exact same method in the derived class, the subclass. And then in the source file, we, we defined the code within that method. And here, and that's what was printed out when when we've done virtual test. Let's see if we do a menu the way we were doing it, see if that's a difference. Save, compile should just be the same but just let's see and run the program yeah so that's good and so you can just stick to where you're doing I just put virtual in because I was doing it here and um, so that this method is we've inherited this method from input but what we've done we decided we don't want to use what's inside um, input so we've changed the code and put all our own code into it. And so that's polymorphism, of but it's not overloading, it's overriding, and it's virtual methods. Now, this is a virtual method where we've already assigned code to it. It's actually pure 
for the show methods and we're going to go into that as well and so again thank you for your time and I hope that's at least helped someone so uh, one person then I'll be happy because this is what this is all about so thank you again for your time